What's up YouTube? This is SK Shuyin and I'm bringing you a YGL Pro Unranked Duel and this will be the second duel that I am going to actually record. I did two previously before this recording. They didn't go so well. Uh, reason being is because they were very short and I kind of lost like way too fast. I didn't even do anything. And I don't want to post that. Uh, I don't even want to. I didn't even want to record that. Nobody wants to see a duel that only lasted literally like three, four turns. So, with that being said, I did a little bit of deck editing. Uh, I took out the pendulum, well, pendulum, pendulum, however you want to say it, cards that were in this deck. Uh, added some other cards i can't remember at the moment uh <laughs> most likely uh, actually i can um i added in the uh, three copies of the phantom knight cards uh monster cards anyway and uh took out some spell and some trap cards at it and replaced them with some different spell and trap cards um basically those cards will be helping getting the phantom knights cards in the graveyard a little tad bit quicker uh, if I find a better way to do it, then I will do it. But as of right now, I'm going to test this way that I have. And, uh, yeah, let's get into the duel. Okay, so my hand uh, isn't that bad. Uh, if something uh, if something happens with my Phantom Knight that I just played face down my Cloven Helm, I can go ahead and special summon uh, Fragile Armor from my hand in Defense Smoke. But this guy's playing DDs slash DDDDs, and uh, uh, these cards, if, if the player is good, then they can beat the crap out of you. So he used one for one, played that monster, and now uh, he's changing his monster up before, and he's playing Covenant with the contract, which lets him, I believe, uh, do some really wicked stuff. This is. Yeah, he can add uh, one DD monster from his deck to his hand uh, once during the main phase. Uh, that can be problematic because that means that every time it's his turn, he can get any DDD monster from his deck and add it to his hand. The only thing he has to do is just take that 1,000 points of damage. But as you can see, he summoned his DD Wave King uh, Caesar. Destroy my monster just like I planned on him doing. I can, and I was able to summon fragile armor and defense mode. Now it's my turn, and I'm like, I might as well go ahead into see what his face down card is, which I did. So now I can go ahead and summon my rank 4 XCs, which is my dark rebellion XC dragon. He's using this special effect which I am going to do because his attack and I also use my trap card my trap card hold on I use my trap card the phantom wing which lets me um, as you can see it gives me a 500 attack boost and also the first time my monster or yeah first time a face up monster would be destroyed that's belongs to me I can you know remove this card from the wait hold on yeah, I can remove, no, I don't remove it. The first time it would be destroyed, it's not destroyed. So I don't have to remove it to activate its effect. But, um, while this card is in the graveyard, I can banish it to a special summon effect on my monster, which is cool. So his monster effect activated, which was his DD Caesar. Uh, if he detached the material from it, he can special summon it. Uh, he can special summon it if it gets destroyed. And that's basically what he did. So all I can do is play one card face down, and because of my Phantom Knight's Fragile Armor, no, not my Phantom Knight's Fragile Armor, my Phantom Knight's Crack Cloven Helm, excuse me, Cloven Helm, I made a remove it from play and get a trap card or any kind of, any, actually any kind of Phantom Knight's card back and add it to my hand at the end of the turn. So I chose the Phantom Wing, and I played my Phantom Sword face down just in case, and it's his turn. So he played his Covenant with the Valkyrie, which allows him to send a contract from his hand to the graveyard, and he can basically destroy, you know, any card on the field. Uh, and that's what he's trying to do. And so I just ended up using my Phantom Sword, which, you know, if my if the target would be destroyed by a battle or card effect, I can destroy that card instead. And that's exactly what I did. I mean, my trap card. So now, you know, I can protect my XE Dragon. I better protect you if I'm trying to win this. Trying to win this duel, yeah. 
But anyway, he's going to take the stuff of damage, which is good for me. And now he's going to XC summon his Sniping King Tail. I didn't see this play coming. I've never met this card. I met this Caesar before, but I've never gone against the Sniping King Tail. And uh, basically, all he has to do is detach a, a unit from it. And he targets on face up on the field. And the target loses a thousand attack. And I also take a thousand points of freaking damage. Uh, so, uh, I didn't know the DD monsters can also. I didn't know that, you know, the XE monster had an effect that target, you know, your life points directly without having to attack, which is an okay effect because it can also do that, lowering your monster's attack and also attacking you. But the problem came, starts to come when the fact that he's able to summon this. Uh, this is Leonidas, the Rebellious Lord. If he took damage, except for the damage that he can special summon it from his hand. So now he has a strong, powerful level 7 monster and the, that Rebel King. Now, he played another contract is with the uh, Swamp King. Now he can fusion summon using fiend type monsters. And uh, he also has DDD Abyss Ragnarok. Uh, I've seen this card one time before. Uh, I've seen it used in a combo. I can't remember the combo exactly, but I know I've seen it used in a combo. And don't too much like its effect. But let's see what he does. So he actually played his Pendulum Monster, which is the DD Sage of Kepler, Prophecy Kepler. And he can target one DD card and return it to the hand. And he can also add one Dark Contract from his from his deck to his hand. So he added the Dark Contract and he removed from play his Slime using the Contract with the Swamp King. And he fusion summoned his DDD Oracle King D D Arc. This is another monster that's going to give me a problem during this duel because instead of him losing damage by effect, he will just be getting it back. And there's three cards that he has on the field that causes him damage. So instead of him losing the life points, he'll just be getting them all back. So now I have to deal with getting rid of his DD Oracle King of the Ark and also try to stop him from doing anything else to me that will cause my monster to lose attack or getting it destroyed. Now his Beverment uh, changed his monster level 7 and for some odd reason he attacked me. I don't know why, but he, he attacked me for some reason and caused himself to lose life points. I don't know why he did that, I can't explain that to you, but he kind of gets his life points back anyway, but he shouldn't have did that. So he uses his uh, Covenant with the Swap King again to summon his Caesar Ragnarok the Wave. Uh, and this monster is pretty freaking strong as you can see 3200 freaking attack and he can uh, target the DDD or DDs or dark contract cards and he, he can return it to the hand and he can equip one face up monster I control to the card and once he does that he gains that monster's attack so that's a lot. I don't know why he didn't do it though, but we'll see. Maybe he didn't want to send his cards back to his hand. But anyway, I'm able to play a card face down and I can try this attack, get this attack through, and that brings him to 2000. So now he has four covenant cards on the field. Maybe he didn't do it because he wanted his covenant cards to activate so he can gain the maximum amount of life points. That's what I'm thinking why he didn't, didn't do it. So let's find out what he's about to do. So all of his one of he he sent uh he sent one of his cards to the grab of his DD cards using the covenant with the Valkyrie and when he does this he can destroy one card on the field, which he chose my monster. And as you already know I had got the Venom Wing back from my graveyard, which lets my monster gain five hundred attack and also it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect this turn. So well, actually for the first time this turn. So th that able to help me get my monster gain 500 attack and I also get to keep my monster on the field. But he gains all those life points back and he tried to attack me again for some odd reason, I don't know. But now he's able to summon some more fusion monsters, another fusion monster to the field. And since he had two level sevens, he's able to do rank seven, number 11, big eye. 
<sighs> Big freaking eye. I, I'm really starting not to like this rank 7 monster. Anyway, uh, it's already going to put me into a bad place because, you know, once he uses this monster's effect, uh, I'm left with nothing. Which, that ended up happening. I'm left with nothing on my side of the field. Uh, that's the only monster I did have. That's the only monster I actually did freaking play that actually did something that, you know, pertained to me having a win. So I'm going to end up removing a card from play, and I'm going to summon, which actually I removed my Phantom Wing from play, which allows me to special summon a monster from the graveyard, a Phantom Knight monster, which I was able to do, and I also summoned a Phantom Knight's uh, Fragile Armor from my hand, which gave me the rank 4 XC for a Dark Rebellion SE Dragon. Now, or XYZ Dragon. Now, the thing what I noticed was that if I cause him enough damage, if I cause him 2,000 damage, the duel will be over because he has no way of gaining these life points back. He has no protection. And that is pretty much what led to his downfall. Since he didn't have any protection for his next turn, he ended up taking 4,000 points of damage and that ultimately cost him the duel. So there you have it. Uh, I don't know what his thought process was. All I know was that you know, he could have made better plays. I could have also made some better plays. I I kind of did make the best plays that I could at that moment. Or at the time. Uh, being able to banish cards and then get certain cards back to protect my Dark Rebellion and Siege Dragon. Because if I didn't, I probably would have ended up losing the duel. But I had those protection cards. Uh, luckily, they came when I needed them. And they were there exactly when I needed them. So that, you know, ended up playing a big part in this duel was having those cards ready. But uh, I think I'm going to change up the deck just one more time to get a quicker way to have my monsters in the graveyard and cards in the graveyard. So, like, comment, and subscribe to me. Uh, I am going to be bringing some more unranked duels for you. I'm still going to probably use this deck. I'm getting better and better with it. And, uh, yeah, I know you want to see more of this. I have another deck that I'm making as well. So, once again, like, comment, and subscribe. This is SK Shuyan, and I'm out.